Do you know that bone death can be caused by loss of blood flow to that particular bone? Yes, this is called avascular necrosis and it can be found in people with sickle cell also. So watch this video to get tips on how to prevent this, the causes and also the treatment for avascular necrosis. Thank you. Welcome to Warriors Inspiration, the number one channel for sickle cell motivation. Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hefodo Muzuriki. I'm a medical student and I'm a warrior. So please like this video, subscribe and comment after watching the video. Thank you. Today we're talking about avascular necrosis. Now, sickle cell warriors have sickled red blood cells and these sickled red blood cells Tend to, clot, tend to clot or stick together and then they block blood flow to different parts of the body. And now, when this blood flow is blocked to the bones, the bones start to die and then this causes avascular necrosis. It could happen mostly in the femur, the hip, the hip joint and it can also happen in the shoulder joint. Yes, so avascular necrosis can be caused by just the deformity of sickle cell blood blood red blood cells now another major cause of um, avascular necrosis is excessive intake of high cholesterol yeah excessive intake of cholesterol I, I, I beg your pardon yeah so when you take too much cholesterol they tend to cause um avascular necrosis excessive intake of alcohol also can also cause avascular necrosis so those that drink too much alcohol can uh, they get dehydrated often and then this can also lead to hypersplenic necrosis. high intake of steroid medication steroid medications too so when you take steroid medications in excess they somehow cause um, hypersplenic necrosis. drugs like prednisolone and the likes they can cause hypersplenic necrosis. now what are the preventions prevention of this is first of all to stay hydrated as a sickle cell warrior stay hydrated drink a lot of water don't do strenuous exercise that can injure your hip joint or your shoulder joint um another thing is avoid alcohol avoid excessive intake of alcohol avoid excessive intake of cholesterol avoid steroid use like monitor your if you're, if you're giving drugs like prednisolone and the likes that you know they're they are steroid medications try to take them in limited um, doses or don't take them for a long period of time yes that can also help you another part is avoid smoking smoking can also tend to you know cause avascular necrosis now what are the treatment options for avascular necrosis it is mostly surgery but before surgery what can you do you can Take more fluid, take more water, take more water. Don't allow yourself to get dehydrated. Don't get allow yourself to get dehydrated. Um, do minor exercises that would ease blood flow. Minor exercises, not strenuous exercises. Do minor exercises that would ease blood flow to your joints, to your bones. And then for surgical treatment, we have the core decompression. I don't go into the medical jargons of this, but it's as simple as them removing a part of your bone inside the bone that that has been necrosed that is dying remove that part and replace it with blood vessels that's like can enable the healing the second part is um hip replacement this is the most common part this is the most common practice hip replacement and then before we get even down to this treatment how can this um, avascular necrosis be detected? Mostly an x-ray is done, but x-ray cannot pick the, the necrosis if it's an early stage. So an MRI is usually better. An MRI tends to pick the, the avascular necrosis in its early stage so you can, it can be treated. 
but at the late stages an x-ray can pick it so you see this scan can be used and then treatment like i've mentioned can be hip replacement i hope you've learned something from this video leave a comment section i'm not perfect and give us more suggestions of what you would like us to talk about when it comes to sickle cell anemia thank you don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you on our next video thank you